car with two women and th a three-year-old boy inside overturns, crashes into a pole, and bursts into flames after troopers say it was involved in a hit and run. News 6 reporter Kirsten O'Connor tells us how they all made it out safely. This is the aftermath after troopers tell us a car came slamming into this pole, causing a fire that sent debris all over the street. You can see broken glass here, even some burned toy cars. But it's what happened before and after this accident that has investigators shaking their heads. FHP troopers tell us a 49 year old grandmother, her daughter, and three year old grandson were all inside the car when it was involved in a hit and run on I 4 and Michigan Street. Shortly after, they lost control and flipped the Chevy Cruze into a pole, starting a fire. All three made it out of the burning car safely, but troopers tell us they made a second attempt to get away in a second car. They cause the first crash, they go and they cause multiple hit and runs. Um, the unusual part is this is that second crash is pretty significant because the vehicle caught fire, and the fact that they dragged their grandchild out of the car and didn't seek medical attention for him, that's the, the part that's most concerning to law enforcement. FHP troopers tracked down the owner of the Chevy Cruze, who they say gave them mixed details, then admitted the three were inside the house. Uh, he let the trooper go into the house to talk to them. The trooper found all three of them laying in a bed. Um, obviously injured. Troopers called for an ambulance and the boy was taken to Arnold Palmer Hospital. He is expected to be okay. Troopers identified the driver as the grandmother and guardian of the boy. She is now facing charges of child endangerment and leaving the scene of a crash. Florida Department of Children and Families is investigating. In Orlando, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.